Hi, I'm Willow Grace, and I am here with Barb Costello with Gentle Awakenings. She is going to be doing a divine discussion with us about past life regressions. I'm super excited about this because I've experienced it myself, and I'm hoping that if you know of anybody who might be interested, or if you're interested yourself, please give a like, a share, and um, let's ex uh, expand this for everybody. Super excited to be working with Barb. So Barb, please tell me a little bit about what is past life regression. Well, first I just wanted to mention what it's not. A lot of people have the misconception that it, I'm telling them about their past lives. Right. Past life regression is a way of me helping you to recall and remember your own past lives that are impacting the present life. Um, that's basically what it is. I use a process of hypnosis in which you are totally aware of what's going on. You remember everything and uh, you will remember what it is right for you to remember at any particular time to bring forward, to help you move forward in this life. Does that make sense? That makes complete sense because uh, I, I have done a couple of them throughout the years. Uh, one with you, absolutely loved it, came with a group of people in a, a room and with our journals. So you told us ahead of time what to prepare for. And then it was you talking to us, but I felt like I was alone and in my own head seeing my own past, like reliving and remembering things that had happened to me and the impact of what it had on this life or to clear up mm -hmm. and to also make connections between people mm -hmm. to make connections. Yes. Oh, so give me a little bit of information about, uh, so you bring people together, they can do it alone or in a group. Mm -hmm. So if they're uncomfortable, they can do a, a private, well, I'll tell you the difference between individual and group past life regressions. It, an individual past life regression, you can go much more deeply into the past life uh, because I guide you specifically. Because when you're in a group, and the group uh, past life regression is, is useful too in other ways, um, but in a group, you are, you're, like you said, you're in your own head recalling your own experience but everybody is having such a different experience during the group that I can only generally guide you as a group and I can't ask you individual specific questions to help you on that journey. So you're not talking out loud, you're not sharing with me until it's all over. Does that explain it a little bit better? Oh, that explains But an individual, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. But an individual regression, I can ask you specific questions to help you unlock further memories from that past life that will help you process that past life and integrate it with the present life. So you're getting a much more deeper healing experience. So give me an example of why I would want to have this done. I mean, I, I know why I did. I, I know that uh, what, I, what I went in with or what I my reasons for because it was at different time periods of my life but why mm -hmm. would somebody why would somebody want to try this just for the heck of it or or to look to to understand something because i think that there's several different reasons there are there are a number of reasons and you can do it just for the heck of it but usually people don't do that usually they have uh, a relationship issue is one reason mm -hmm. you may have an issue that you just can't see beyond there's some kind of block in a, it, there's this person pushes your buttons or you push their buttons or it's usually a mutual thing and you want and you can't figure out why in this life you're it's like that but you might go to back to a past life in which you had a relationship oh here's a good one uh maybe a a pimp and a prostitute <laughs> for one right. reason like the the person that had the prostitute life in this life would be giving that other person uh, everything, uh, giving them money for, and can't understand why they want to do this. But once you uncover that and see, oh, well, I'm not in that life anymore. I'm in this life. I don't have to do what this person says. That's just one example. There's so many different examples. And that's one reason. Most people come because they just feel a general sense of unease 
They feel like there's something they need to know about themselves to unblock and to move forward. Sometimes it's a pain in a certain area of their body. Um, and sometimes that's simply explained by a past life, like you got hit by an arrow in the shoulder or something. And that, and after, once you recall that, um, that pain goes away and that really does happen. Um, sometimes it's a fear. Quite often it's a fear. Right. Something that, uh, an unknown, like, why would I fear water? Yeah. Why would I feel fear yes. a dogs? Why would yes. I fear, um, Sir, or how do I feel like a specific connection with somebody and don't even yes. understand why? Yeah, and that's another reason. It doesn't have to be a negative reason no. that you go to seek a past life regression. And I'm getting to the positive reasons too. Oh. But, but, uh, but a lot of times it is a negative reason. So the person just wants to understand themselves better. Why do I act this way? Um, but the positive reasons are sometimes it can just bring forward a past talent or a character, personality characteristic. Um, for instance, a person may feel powerless in this life and scared of going forward because they're scared of being a failure, for, for instance. That's very common. You might recall a past life in which you were, had a position of power and a confidence in yourself and you so you bring forth that feeling from that past life and you say well i've done this before i can do it again my soul has a lot of great resources to draw on it's already done this it can sure it can get through this one that's that's another reason um let's see sometimes people just want connection with their spiritual center and this, I think, for me, is the biggest one. The more I've, I've recalled about 50 past lives of my own. I've been doing this for 40 years. I've been doing it professionally for five years now. But for 40 years, I've been recalling my own past lives and, and occasionally helping other people recall the, theirs. So I've got a lot of background in this. Um, but it has helped me know that I am not this person, this personality, this ego, I am not, the, well, everybody knows you're not your body. If you believe in uh, life Past after life, death, you yeah. know you're not your, you know you're not your body. You're not going to come into the same body. But you're also going to have a very different personality with different thoughts, different ideas about things, different uh, proclivities and, and uh, talents. And, um, okay, remind me why I'm telling you this. Oh, yeah, well, okay. The it's, connection it's to the spiritual It's the center. connections. So, yeah, it's the connections of... I remember um, mine was a very personal experience. There were two past lives and it tied some things together for me and made sense. Um, so uh, afterwards I'm journaling about it and trying to understand, and I'm looking at all the details. There were a lot of details and I'm, I'm writing them all down so I wouldn't forget them. And then it made sense with, oh, that was preparing you for something in this lifetime. Like I can take that information and say, yeah. you have mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. How are you, how can you use it in this lifetime? Does it, do I need it? Do I not need it? Do I need to call upon it or not at all? You know, um, mm -hmm. and so I, yeah. it, it explains some things and connections to people. Sometimes people will say, oh, that's my soul person or that's my twin flame or that's my, not always. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're Very just re re recognizing a soul that you have been with from another lifetime. Yeah. Or and even many lifetimes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I truly believe in the absolute of many lifetimes that I, I believe that when we come into this, we make a decision of who we're going to be connecting with and learning life lessons from. Oh, yes. And sometimes we carry people in different lifetimes with different roles yes. with each other. Yes. Sometimes they're antagonistic roles. Like if you have a lessons. boss or a friend or something that's, that's uh, uh, really pushes your buttons, but at the same time, yeah. they're making you grow. Right. Perhaps it is something, some way that you wanted to grow. And so you ask this person, okay, will you come in and will you push these buttons so they'll make me grow in this way? You might find that a lot. I, so I did it, find that. That was probably my very first past life regression. I didn't understand 
the connection between, and it wasn't just like, it was mainly a, a birth sign. It was, and I'm like, what am I supposed to be learning from this? It's like, I kept getting hit and hit and hit. <laughs> and, um, oh, I needed to do some work. It was about me humbling myself and doing some soul work. And then I had asked them to, uh, teach me in a way that I would learn mm -hmm fast lessons or hard yeah. lessons. And then yeah. I would remember them for the future. So yes. if I looked at it as not a negative, and then as soon as I did that, the problems cleared, like, like a damn darn, darn near immediately. It was like, I didn't, I couldn't recognize what I was having a problem with, with them. Yeah. That makes like it like yes. a different way. Like I did the work yes. and the problem kind of self-corrected itself. Yes, sometimes, yes, because sometimes just looking at things in a different perspective can resolve the problem. Sometimes it, it quite often happens that way. When you understand the reasons for something and you get a different perspective on it, then uh, quite often that the problem resolves in its, itself. Yeah, there's, there's work that we do, but, but sometimes it, just understanding it in a different light is, is all you need. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, it makes it makes complete sense to me because I've I've been through the process, but I I want people to understand that it's not just like a quick fix. I remember Oh, no, no. uh going going through uh one with you and I remember vacuuming and it was a movement that I was making that triggered another memory mm -hmm. that I'd had and then it took me right back there to remember more because uh, it's not just what's going on right there. It's remembering more, more details. Yes. Once you've opened up your the past life regression is a, is a process in which it opens up your connection with your higher self. That's, that's the big thing to me. And once you do that, then you can more spontaneously recall other details that add to your knowledge of yourself that help you understand it in a deeper way. So yes, you, you, it's not just a one-time thing where you come in. You'll start rec re maybe recalling things in your dreams or like right. you said, when you're vacuuming, just in the, the moments of your life when you're in the present moment and not thinking about anything. Um, these more details will start coming to the surface too. So it's a way of opening yourself up as well. Yeah, this was a movement. I was like vacuuming and it took me back to a farmer in a field and oh, interesting. Uh, doing, you know, like hoeing and doing, um, there was horses and I remember the wet smell of mud and what I was wearing and I thought, oh my God, I've just been taken right back. That makes so much sense now why am i now remembering this and sometimes it doesn't make sense right away sometimes you yeah. have to just like write it down and you know thank that yeah. i'm remembering some of these and let's put some pieces <laughs> together yeah 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 it makes sense. and then to explain some fears i mean i'm really big on let's understand why we have specific fears you know if you're afraid of water okay did you drown in a past life or was there something else that happened or uncomfortable around certain people? That's definitely my, my gut instinct, you mm -hmm. know, protecting me, but why, you mm -hmm. know, like what is the, what am I supposed to be getting from this? I don't believe it's just past life regressions. I, I believe oh, that no. it's um, everything is connected for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so if I understand what this is, then I can self-correct some things that have happened in the past. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Definitely. It, it's all ties together. Um, it, past life regression. Sometimes when I regress people, they go back to a time in this particular life because uh, you, if you haven't resolved things in another life, yeah. you're going to bring them. You may want to bring them in this life and they may lead to repressed memories or they, they may be, it may be something that you didn't understand at the time, the ramifications of it. So past life regression does have uses for recalling things in this lifetime. In fact, I've regressed people specifically for that to help them remember certain things about this life. 
and Is that nothing, what you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, I am. And then nothing happens beyond what I'm prepared for or bef- uh, from what I, I, I ask for it. So I'm exactly. asking to understand better. So uh, my higher uh, self yourself, yeah. is saying, you're ready for this. Exactly. Let's talk. Let's, yes. let's, let me show you a movie so you will remember it better. I mean, yeah. everything comes exactly. to me like in movies yeah. or like a video in my head or in my dreams. And, and then I understand it from, because then I can, I can rewind and fast forward, like rewind and fast forward so I can see it in better detail. Does that make yeah. sense? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. the way it's, it's that I'm glad you brought that up because it's important to people realize you're not going to go back to just the past, the no. previous past life or a particular past life um, just because you're doing the process. You're going to go back to where your higher self wants you to know right. that can help you the most at that particular moment. And you may not recall all the details of that past life. You may, for instance, I've got one past life that has impacted me more than any other life. And for the past 40 years, I've, I've, I think I've got it all now. But I would just recall certain aspects of it at a time that I could understand and integrate and move forward with. And then I was ready for another detail later on. Um, but I, I had to go through that particular life a number of times. But I didn't go, I didn't do, regress, do regressions simply to recall that lifetime. I did it because I wanted to understand this particular situation better and it brought me to that lifetime. So, so yeah, you're, you will be recalling whatever it is, your higher self in whatever amount of detail, it may not be much detail at all. Um, but sometimes the details can be vivid. And like you said, you will recall smells and the way it feels and, uh, the way it feels physically and emotionally. Um, And you're able to talk to your higher self and ask why your higher self brought you that experience um, at that time and what you learned from it, what your soul learned from it and what you can learn from it now in this. Right. For the lessons for this. So um, uh, one of my uh, reasons was I wanted to understand more of this lifetime and I got like snippets of several that said, and this is the reason for this. And this is the reason for this. And this is the reason for this. And this is what you come into it and you chose this. So, you know, put your wine in. And, <laughs> exactly. You know, we all choose our experiences, whether we yeah. think we do or not, we choose them. Yeah. Right. So it made, it made it easier for me to say, Oh, okay. I, 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 I have, I, I wanted to be able to stand back and see a broader picture so I could focus because I, you know, sometimes we're so, stuck in the right now that we can't we can't see what the bigger picture is and um it ge- it gives me an opportunity yeah. to uh get more details does that make sense yeah 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 well, it's perfect sense yes so is there anything else that you can share about it that maybe we haven't discussed yet because i know the journaling the the coming things coming to you a little bit later they can do private or group and they don't have to do it um in the same room with you this can be something that can be done through facetime or online correct i've been doing it yes on zoom and yes it's uh, yes uh in fact i'm going to be offering a, a special this month for um on online regression since obviously people aren't getting in yeah. it, together for a while but i can also do group regressions online too if you get together uh some of your friends that might want to do it with you um and i didn't mention before that another one of the differences between the group regression and the individual regression is in the group regression we spend about 45 minutes to an hour just talking about it and answering questions people bring up the most wonderful interesting questions we have great discussions about it but i talk uh, in general about reincarnation and uh, give a lot of examples about uh, past life regression so you have a much better understanding of it so if you want to just know more about it and talk about it with people, that's really a good way of getting into the whole process before you decide to do an individual regression. Yeah. And you're also welcome to call me and ask any questions about it if you want. 
So you do this at um, home, obviously from home, and um, Luminous Life. Mm -hmm. and in Cuyahoga Falls. In Cuyahoga Falls. Uh, the Unity of Maslin. I do uh, group regressions at, at Unity of Maslin, yes. Which is in Jackson Township. Yes. And then uh, Rising Sun out yes. of Canton. Canton. And mm -hmm. are you located anywhere else? No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then they can reach you at Gentle Awakenings. And then you're going to put your phone number here also so people can reach out. Because I remember, I think you and I spoke two or three times before I actually was able to find one of your events that I could sign up for because you were at uh, two or three and we were trying to jive our schedules together. Mm -hmm. So, and you're, you're, so you're offering a special mm -hmm. and I encourage people to reach on out. I encourage, they just need a set of earbuds or not even earbuds. They can just have their computer or their phone there. It's just nice if, oops, sorry, that they can, mm -hmm. they can have it in front of you so they can join like a group discussion or not. Like on Zoom, they can click their picture and just have an icon. They don't have to be face That's to face yeah. with you. So yeah. if they want uh, to be anonymous or have privacy, there's ways to get around it. Yeah, only for a group regression. If it's an individual regression, I really would encourage being a face-to-face -face because I, it's helpful in the individual regressions to know what questions to ask if I can see your face. Right. So, right. and uh, I would, if you, I will tell you all the details that you need right. to know ahead of time if you want to do this. Yeah. But I will be offering a, a special for April for online individual regressions and group regressions. But for the first three people that sign up for an individual regression online, I am going to offer half price. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good because it's yeah. okay. And since we're already quarantined at home, let's take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So thank you for coming out. Um, I can I'm going to release this on um, follow me on YouTube and Instagram and wollagracemystic.com and you can sign up for my newsletter. I hope to see you for more divine discussions. So please like, follow, share, you know, let's um, share the education with everybody. Education raises the vibration, I believe. Thank you so much, Patty. I really appreciate this opportunity to do this interview. Um, Patty is also a wonderful astrologist and tarot reader too. I've, I've had both of those services and they're really wonderful. So I will just put a plug in there for you too. Thanks. I love working with you. Yeah, All I right. Love you too. All right. I heart you. I'll talk to you I'll later. You too. Bye. Bye.